Make yourself at home. Do you like, uh, you prefer telling songs with a s telling? Well, that's, that's not inappropriate, singing songs with a story? Uh, I don't really prefer it. I think, you know, it can be interesting. Well You've done it a couple of times very successfully. Great. They call Run Joy, Run the Romeo and Juliet of popular <laughs> ballads. That was an interesting story. Do you write these things by any chance? No, I did not write either uh, Run Joy, Run or this one. Where do you find them? Well, uh, my producer, Paul Vance, wrote Run Joy, Run. And uh, Last Game of the Season was written by a young man in Nashville named Sterling Whipple. And Paul Vance, I know that name. Didn't he do the Hilltop Singers or something like that? Uh, he's done a lot. He's, uh, he's had been a lot of around. Yes, he has. He knows what he's doing. What's your background? Have you had uh, musical training and so forth? Uh, some musical training in uh, piano and a uh, little bit in voice. And um, When did you switch from the, the keyboard to using your vocal instrument? Well, I was in a band for a long time, and I did both. You know play the organ and sing background. You prefer being a single performing artist as opposed to be surrounded with four or five other people? Yeah, I do. I really Why? Do. It's, uh, it's less hassle. It's less. Uh, well, let's stop right there for a second. I notice as I look around these days, I guess maybe it is because there's so many groups. There are half a million groups in this country right now. Why are there so many problems with young, primarily young men playing music, though there are some gals involved? I don't know. I think you get four or five people and you put them in a, a rugged profession and they have to travel around a lot and be together almost constantly. Mm. And it's also a, a profession where ego is important. And when you get five people all vying for you know, recognition and together all the time, it can be tough. Just ask John, Paul, George, and Ringo, <laughs> and they'll tell you about it. It's a shame, because very often you get a great combination going, and when they go their separate ways, that, that mm. magic uh, disappears. What's your fondest ambition? I'd like to produce records eventually. For other people? For other people. Why? I don't know. I think that's the most creative aspect besides writing. I'd also like to write, but I think actual, actually producing the records is really where the... Like the actors who want to be the directors and all. I guess so. Tell me about the next side. What are we going to do? Uh, we're going to do a song called Changing Colors from the album. It's the new album, not the one I showed. No. You see, that album that you showed, we released, then recorded Last Game of the Season, and then we put Last Game of the Season on that album. So there are actually two versions of the same album. The second version has Last Game of the Season. So if you go to your store, you look to see which titles are there, but 9 out of 10, it'll be there. Right. That's All correct. Right. Again, the title of this? Changing Colors. Ladies and gentlemen, David Geddes.